On this installment of Risk and Reward, we are excited to welcome a graduate of both the University of Calgary Bachelor of Film Studies program and State Polytechnic's Film and Video Production Diploma with honors. He has directed three short films, including Acrophobia, which screened at the 2013 Cannes Film Festival in France. He's currently working as assistant director for the television show Heartland. On top of that, he is also the managing director for Manifold Pictures, a production house based in Western Canada. Welcome to Risk and Reward, NUTV's exploration of success and those who have achieved it. I'm your second host, Eric Stropple. And here with us today to speak to his success, we have Benjamin Ross Hayden. Welcome. Thank you, Eric, for having me on Risk and Reward. It's good to have you. So to start things off, um, can you tell us what inspired you to take the career path you currently have? When I was six years old, I had to write a story for my English class. It only had to be about 10 pages, double-spaced. But instead, I made a 300-word story. And it was a rewrite of The Army of Darkness by Sam Raimi, if you know that film. Yeah. Evil Dead, that kind of thing. Um, I got a B plus for plagiarism, so many backwards letters. But it was that experience that taught me that I was always about big projects. I always wanted to work with people on things and tackle really large things. And sort of when I trace it back to where I am today, um, I was fascinated by storytelling, always. Wow. Do you remember any risks or sacrifices you had to make or take in order to achieve your success? Mm. Well, film itself is a risk. I mean whether you're dealing with casting and you need to approach talent agents, whether you need to attend film markets and sit down with producers and arrange meetings with them so that you can, you can convince them that your idea is important and worthy as a story to be told. I, I would say that there's always a risk that's involved with film because it's about timing. And when you, when you set out to tell a story and timing is involved, anything that could be a success or a failure becomes sort of either a springboard or an alternate avenue, so to speak. So I would say it's always a risk every time. You just have to roll with the punches. Yeah. Now taking that in mind, can you point to any point in your career that you would call a reward for the risks you've had to take? I think it came when I was invited to a film festival in Spain called the Sitges Film Festival, as well as the Cannes Film Festival as well. And those film festivals had me go and attend them, and they, they put me up, they hosted me, and they were well receiving a science fiction that a team of 60 Canadians uh, from Calgary, Vancouver, Toronto, and uh, also a visual effects team in the United Kingdom. Uh, I guess the success that came from that was when we, we were received internationally by virtue of also being an international team. So it was a, it was a very diligent effort that was met on that side of the equation as well. And we also received a broadcast deal uh, across Japan on iTunes as well. Wow. Now, before I hand it back over, can you uh, take us or direct us through a piece of information you think is vital to surviving the film industry? Learn people's names, Eric. And I think know your name too. Know what you stand for in the film industry and how your name is defined as well. And be a team player. Be, be working with people. Reach out pull strings together, tie them in, and then magic starts to take place. And then that's success for me. Wow, great. Uh, well, thank you for coming on, and hopefully your story inspires others with their success. I'm Eric Stropple. Remember to risk it for the biscuit.